when we die, you're either going to be picked up by a rogue crystal bundle or you're going to go back to the original source bundle from which you came. So we talked about how we know that these bundles interact with us based on frequency. They interact with us based on our motivation. And most people's human beings are mostly in transparency. So most people's transferred motivation lacks cognition, meaning you don't have access to the tonal awareness, your unique cognitive difference. And then we have the not self action that is just a perpetuating flywheel because you're operating in not self. So you're transferred. So you're operating in not self. So you're transferred. So when you're transferred, you are attractive to these rogue crystal bundles. So it's not that there's six different kinds of bundles. It's not. It's that your transferred motivation is going to attune to that kind of frequency the transferred motivation, and those bundles will be attracted to the transferred frequency. I'll explain this again in a different, many different ways through this presentation so that we can get really clear on this so that we don't have any mistakes in understanding. So if we talk about an evolutionary process when it comes to, remember, there's transference and then there's also what we're designed to tune into. We start on the first color level the very first part of an evolutionary process of uh, bundles. We're talking about angel bundles. And then, of course, the light always has to have the dark. We have demons, demons, and we have ghosts and gods and entities and aliens. Aliens are the most recent as far as evolutionarily speaking. So angels and demons being at the beginning of the process, you can see that when you go along this evolutionary track that everything works in binaries, just as we know from uh, understanding line components, line one and line two, these are binaries of each other, right? They're opposites of each other. One and two are not the same. They're so different. Just like three and four are so different. So is five and six. So in essence, the beginning of this process of evolution on the non-physical we began with angels and then it evolved into demons. And then we have the ghosts and we have the, that ghosts are living dead, by the way, the non-incarnate that used to be someone. Then we have gods, the dead immortals. Ross says that's a kind of cute juxtaposition. You know, the immortals that are actually no longer physical here now. Then we have aliens. And entities. Entities first, then aliens. This is new. These are the more recent bundles. So Ross says those bundles began to expand exponentially with the population explosion that began about 250 years ago. So this particular one really set in about 100 years ago. We have this incredible population explosion. That means we have a lot of human beings that don't die correctly. So this incredible expansion of the rogue crystal bundles that are beginning to fill the environment and will attune to them accordingly with our transferred motivation for the most part, because most people are transferred. So again, he doesn't want us to have the misunderstanding or the impression that there are only six kinds of of rogue crystal bundles, the angels, the demons, the ghosts, the gods, the entities, and aliens as it evolved. There are these six different bundles, we think, because the label is there. And actually, that is false. There aren't. It's us who filter that frequency as if we're talking to the angels, we're talking to the demons, we're talking to the ghosts, we're talking to the gods, we're talking to the entities, we're talking to the aliens. We, who are filterers of the consciousness data stream, take in the experience as if whatever the transferred motivation is. Now, when you're transferred, obviously. When you're not transferred, are you even going to be interested in they and they with you? Because... This is an outer uh, energetic 
imprint that is non-physical that you're in you're tuning into because you are physical so it's clear that these are the rogue crystal bundles labels but if we were to remove the labels standing there on them their own or floating i should say <laughs> when they're on their own there are no specific types of rogue crystal bundles so it's not like you're going to be picked up specifically to be a part of the demon crew or the ghost crew or the god crew or the entities or the aliens or the angels it has nothing to do with the crystal bundle itself it's about you and the way that you project that experience into your reality oh i'm connected with the aliens the aliens told me or not <laughs> okay so what are these bundles they're not doing anything and what he means is by not doing anything is that they have no capacity to do anything because they're not life force, not like us. There's no hardware. There's no embodiment. There's no software combination because you need hardware to run software. They're just hanging around, clustered, bundled together. And when you look at the crystal that we're all endowed with, we have crystals, right? Of consciousness, a personality crystal, a form crystal. The crystal of consciousness, when the personality crystal is disembodied, there's no vehicle, there's no hardware to run the software. So no brain, no physicality, no anything, no nothing. It's just floating. And resonant to frequency they bundle they bundle together the relative quantum mechanics of them being grouped together because of interacting with a specific frequency so this is a frequency-based world everything is vibrating these two have a frequency and so they bundle they group they group together and what uh, distinguishes these bundles are their attractiveness to frequency and through this attractiveness to their frequencies together, then we who are transferred particularly, because most of us are, will give them a certain name, will give them a certain flavor, a certain feeling, a certain smell, a certain taste, a certain touch. These are inherent in the names that we give, and it depends on whether or not we are transferred. If we are transferred, as in operating in not self, we will always take in that frequency through the transference. So through the transference, Ross says it's one of the things that fascinates him. He was not told if there was a majority of certain bundles that tune into one frequency and others are a minority. So are we currently in the era of angels? Is, a, is that why there's so uh, such an explosion of angels because we're in a first line era? Or are we currently in an era of uh, aliens because there's so many, so much rise of the sixth quality in the global background frequency shift? There's a lot of angels out there. Have you seen the angel cards, angel decks, angel everything, and this and that and the other thing? And there's a lot of aliens. Isn't it kind of more interesting to a lot of people? We don't know. We can't calculate uh, what kind of dominance there is because when people are talking to angels, demons, ghosts, gods, entities, or aliens, oftentimes they don't disclose such things because you're looked at as if you are crazy. Yeah. So we don't know how many. Um, certain bundles there are that tune into certain frequencies. Just know that they are, what his assumption is, is that they're more attracted to transference because it's a more powerful pull because then these crystals have the opportunity to communicate to others or influence others because they are transferred, because they've abdicated their authoritative process. They're not operating in alignment. They're not their own authority. So. The moment that crystal bundle is within your field, they don't have to come into you. They're just within your aura. And what he says is that the thing is so interesting about these bundles is that they impact if they can either enter into, so think generator, open and enveloping, or meet your aura, think manifester, 
closed and repelling. They meet your aura. However it is they do so, they get in or they're meeting it. Basically, what you get is a powerful personality conditioning program. So in other words, that neutrino stream is going through the bundle. And when that bundle is in your aura or touching your aura, meeting your aura, maybe your reflector, you're going to get impacted by that frequency and impacted negatively when you're transferred. Transference is what causes you to attune to the bundle as something that is outside of you that you can trust or rely on or depend. Remember, there's nothing outside of you that you can trust on, rely on, or depend. You be your own authority, which is the message of this work. So in the meeting of your aura, those of you who are reflective in nature or manifested in nature, the meeting of your aura, or maybe it's entering into your aura because you are more open to conditioning, projectors, generators, meeting the aura, again, different depending on the themes of your type, entering because you're more open, porous, you could say, with a generator. So it's not just a matter of these colors that we're talking about here, whether you're transferred or whether it's your true color where you're going to be attracting or attracted to those forces. Your sensitivity to the forces is what actually increases the moment that one of these are meeting to or within your aura. So your sensitivity increases. 